Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know It All. I am back again with a Polish team that was at Spaceport New Mexico, right? Yes, yes. And Spaceport you know, America Cup. That's Spaceport how the Port America competition Cup. is called. And you guys designed a single stage rocket. Hey folks, say hi. hi. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and so they, they road tripped it out to Los Angeles, which is not a short trip from there. <laughs> and so your name is Bart, is that right? Yes. All right, yes. cool. And I'm John. And yeah, tell us about what you did. And we'll just look at this awesome SpaceX, you know, <laughs> Falcon 9 booster as we were there. So, so, so Long story short, or maybe not that short, uh, <laughs> we've built a sounding rocket which is uh, designed to go to 30,000 feet, so just above 9 kilometers of altitude, with no active control, so it's uh, fin stabilized, you need high thrust, it has like okay. 10 to 1 thrust to weight okay. ratio. So basically it's like when you're a kid and you build those little rockets, it's, yes, it's yes, like a yes. really big version of that. Yeah, it's cool. just much okay. more complex because we don't do solid propellants, we can't, right. that's yeah, illegal so in Poland. That. So you have a hybrid solid uh, and, and it's just called gear. a hybrid hybrid rocket engine. Yes, okay. And so how does that work? That's awesome. That, that's basically something very similar to a solid rocket motor. It's just that you don't have like a PCP or other solid propellant in it. You have uh, a fuel, which is simply a fuel. It's a paraffin-based mix of uh, carbohydrates. Right. And uh, you inject liquid nitrous oxide on it and then they mix as they burn. Right. And the reason we do those is because in Poland it's making solid propellants is like making high explosives. Okay. You need similar paperwork to do it. That's right. why all Polish teams do hybrids. Gotcha. And what makes it a little bit more difficult because at the competition we have tons of solid rocket motors, especially from, from states, is that in terms of uh, nitrous oxide, which is our oxidizer, you have like 10% density increase on just six, seven degrees Celsius or, oh or Kelvin. Goodness. So it's wow. all about, to do it precisely on hybrids, it's just all about thermal control of your tank. Okay. So we have like a very complex system of heat exchangers to, to fill. Everything, of course, because those are considered dangerous, everything has to be done remotely. So there's a, something we call the portable common center, uh, a, a radio link to the launch tower, which has a filling system automatically uh, operated. The, the nitrous oxide is cooled and heat, heat exchanger load to a rocket. We weigh the rocket during the filling procedure. And then it's when we're filled to the, to the point we want to be. And if the wind is not that bad, then we go three to one and launch. Right. Gotcha. And then, of course, some guys have to go through the desert filled with rattlesnakes to find the rocket because <laughs> you get you, you get extra bonus points for recovering your rocket oh, actually. Gotcha. Oh, oh, so good. all okay. the parachutes have to go in the precise moments and right. that's a quite quite more complex than, than most yeah. of the toy and rockets it, you nine, do. And it's nine, nine kilometers, of course, you can't visually see it. Yes, so you have to yes, track yes. It. There are like five GPS trackers or something like that gotcha. in the rocket. Every okay. heavier part has to have their GPS right. tracker in it. And it's single stage, right? So it is single stage, it's yeah. Not, there's no radio control, no remote control. Once it goes, it goes. Yes, okay. it has to be that way. It has right. to be that way. And how tall is it, like compared to you? Like it's 4.2 meters. Oh, 4.2. Oh, so, so it's, it's like it's almost three times my height. Yeah, wow. It's, uh, 160 millimeters diameter, that's, so that's like six yeah. and a half inch, I think. Right. And empty, it weighs 38, sorry, no, no pounds in it. Uh, it weighs like 38 kilograms. It takes 16 kilograms of oxidizer, three kilograms of fuel. Oh, wow, so it's actually, the, the dry mass of the rocket is actually more than the, the yes, fuel? Yes, wow. yes, 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 yes. You have to have a four kilogram payload, that's the rule. Oh, and the payload okay. has to be... Uh, yeah, three cubes at size. Oh. Okay, okay. That's why, that's why the ro rocket diameter is that six and something oh, right, of inch, because right. that's the smallest diameter you can fit a cube set in. Right. And so this is Richard Branson's spaceport, uh, like America. Or yes, whatever. yes, yes, and yes, yes, yes. How many teams were part of it? There were, there were, I think, like hundred thirty teams, but wow. most most of them are for lower altitude and okay. on commercially bought motors. In our in our oh. category, there were only, I think. Nine teams, I think, were at the beginning, but only, only four, five were at the competition. Wow. And uh, the most important part, I forgot to tell, we won our category. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, you didn't even tell me that. That's awesome. Yeah, the technical stuff is like much more interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wait, so, but, the, but the winning condition is how exactly you can hit 30,000 feet or 9.2. It's actually, actually much more complicated because okay. you have design points for your technical report. You have points for how well it's built. Oh. You have points for all the operations. You have points on 
the later in the competition you lift, you lift off, the less points you get. You because have of points. The what? Because of the weather? Because the of just how good your operations right, are. Right, 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 right. So, so it's, they're rewarding it's, you for being efficient. And yes, so exactly. So they start, they have like a, at five o'clock in the morning, they're like, start now and then. Exactly. Yeah, okay. And you know, with a solid, you just put it on a pad and light right. it up. <laughs> and we have to do all the connections, testing, uh, right. uh, filling. That seems really unfair that you have to compete against people who can just slap a solid rocket in there. Yeah, yeah that, that's, <laughs> that's because the competition is always won by some kind of solid uh, right. propelled rocket. And that's why we have like uh, prizes within categories. Yes, yes. And, yes, yes. Okay. and this year was, was very good for hybrids because our team and the Waterloo team okay. from, from Canada, yeah. we both managed to get more than 1,000 points and it's the first time in the competition history wow. that hy <laughs> any hybrid team did that. All right, all right. I see you guys. There you go. So if they, <laughs> just yeah. if they see it, Waterloo, great <laughs> job. You know. Nice. I, this is fantastic. I'm, I'm like, I'm super proud of you guys. And you know, we were just hanging out here talking, <laughs> just chatting, and all of a sudden, people who are actually making history are, are out here. So, does anybody want to work at SpaceX someday? Show of hands. Maybe. Nobody. Nobody. Maybe. Okay, somebody better. Otherwise, they're, I mean, we're standing right here at SpaceX. We're everybody better. wants to build big rockets, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just like, <laughs> for us is a little bit quite far away. We wish we right. wish things like that were happening in Europe. Yes, exactly. What's the closest? similar rocket company in Europe? Actually, in Europe you get like, there's an Ariane Space which build Ariane 5 and Ariane 6 and they are, they are like the only big one that's, that's, that's in Europe. There's no right. uh, rocket it, lab in Europe? No, no. Yeah. There actually, we have like new space companies which like uh, Rocket Factory Augsburg, uh, there are a few, mostly in Germany. Right. And they all seem to be trying to build a cost-efficient something Falcon size, maybe yeah. a little bit smaller. Uh, 20 tons to blow up orbit. Like yes, yes, yeah. some, something like that. But still, it's like, you know, they were the first ones. They have like a 15 year head start. And now they have much more money than anyone in Europe. So right, right. it seems like, unfortunately, th there are not a very big chances that something like SpaceX yeah. happens in Europe. That's, well, that's my that's guess. Okay. It's Although we, we wish thing. it did. Ultimately, this is for the good of humanity, not for any individual country. So we can be yeah. happy about that. Yeah, yeah, you know, if SpaceX cuts down the cost, yes. then for access to space for exactly. everybody, it's like exactly. it's an open market. It's a global right. market. Yeah. And are you guys, so, so I know you don't have time to go to Boca Chica this visit, but next time, right? Next time you're going to go to Boca Chica and see the Rocket Garden and the other, yeah, the we'll, other SpaceX. We'll go to Boca Chica when, you know, when starships will have like the same launch and landing yeah. rates as those. Exactly. So there we go. Okay. So what? Uh, well, let me let me get this. So what do you guys like? I don't know. Say like to the moon in Polish or something like that. To the moon. Yeah. Na księżyc. Okay. So na księżyc. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. What a what a fantastic find. Congratulations for the win. And uh, we'll see y'all later. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye. bye.